Hey everybody, it's Prelete. Welcome back for a playthrough of Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew. It's time for us to revive yet another member of said Cursed Crew and then move on to our next mission. So, without any time to waste, let's take a look at our options once again. I like it I'm fairly convinced I know who I want to pick up, but just as a refresher, I want to take a quick look at their uh, abilities again. So, we've got Teresa over here, our sharpshooter, who again is very fun with Iron Judgment and Ashen Judgment. I've played her in the beta build, I'm sure the excitement and thrill of using her still exists, but she feels a little bit louder than our other options, and so I'm holding off on Teresa for the time being. Soleil then we've got Soleidy. Soleidy is very, very capable. Cover Seeds is huge. Just being able to put a bush down anywhere to hide in makes a very big difference. And Wander Dust is also really good for having sort of area control, forcing guards to like look the other way and literally go the other way too. It is absolutely huge. So I'm kind of tempted by Soleidy, actually. Got Next up, we have Gale. Now, she's a lot of fun. Being able to load people onto the cannon and then firing them to, like, knock other people out or to get over, like, walls and stuff like that, that's very, very helpful as far as, like, utility is concerned. I would say, arguably, a little bit on the loud side, but not as much as, you know, somebody who's, like, shooting deadly crossbows. And, and, and whose bolts you actually have to go and pick up after the fact if you want to keep using some of her abilities. So, uh, Gale is definitely one of the potential picks. Then we've got Quentin Albers. Now, I didn't actually get to use him in the uh, sort of beta build of the, uh, of the game, so I'm very unfamiliar with this guy. He's got his treasure rod, which can pull friendlies out of trouble. It can also draw Inquisition corpses into his chest to hide them, so we don't need to go looking for bushes or anything like that. And it even allows us to trigger levers and similar things from afar, so we can trigger traps using Quentin, right? So that's a, that's a very, very compelling use case scenario. And he's also got the golden head, which acts as a distraction. Uh, he can throw it on the floor, and lower level members of the Inquisition will be lured by it, and uh, then we can kill him, right? So, again... Definitely some value there. Like, these guys are all very nicely Come designed. They, they, at your service. they all have their place in a, in, in a team. So Pincus actually was my top pick as I began this episode. Because Peru's mind is interesting because you can kind of take over an acolyte's body, move around as them up to a certain distance, and then sort of keep daisy-chaining that further and further along. And that has a lot of value as well. I mean, again, I feel like I'm saying that about all of these uh, abilities. They're so cool. They're so, they're so interesting to me, all in their unique ways. And they're also so valuable. Like, they, you can do so many different things. It, they all open up so many different doors. I wouldn't say any of them are useless skills or anything like that, you know? So it makes this decision all that much harder. Teresa, you know what? Oh, man. Teresa. I think it's between, it's between Pincus here. Or Soleidy. And we, okay, we have quite a few people who are able to distract guards. Taking control of a guard's body is probably a pretty big one. You know what? Let's go with Pincus. Let's go with Pincus von Bresfeld. Yeah, decision has been made. I hope it's the right one. It's so bright here. You gentlewoman, uh, kindly blow out the candles, if you will. Candles? You mean the sun? Upon my revival, I was immediately confronted with a somewhat dim individual who thought it possible to quench the light of the sun. Those must be your famous memoirs you're composing, Pincus van Breswald, quartermaster of this cursed voyage. Ah, so you do know a little about what is what. Then who are you, if not a severely neglectful steward? A Fia Monicato, navigator and advisor on this eventful treasure hunt. A navigator? Huh? I wasn't even aware we needed one. To this day, I'm still unsure what benefits you bring to the table yourself, quartermaster. Would you like to show us at the training deck? I will not deny anyone a demonstration of my brilliance. 
Alright, again, don't necessarily need to do uh, any of these, so I think I'll just kind of skip past it and we'll, like uh, taste of it. we'll learn things as we go if we need to. By which I mean we'll relearn things as we go if we need to. What's the worst that could happen, right? We can always go back in time if need be. Uh, but again, Peru's mind allows us to take control of a guard and uh, hide in their body and eventually come out of their body to reappear at uh, different locations. Again, if memory serves me correctly, and I'm pretty sure it does. And then tossing a coin is, again, a way to distract enemies, have them look in a different direction. Uh, we have quite a few of those right now, so maybe the next person we revive doesn't focus on the ability to distract guards. That might be a good call. Anyway, let's make our way up the steps and over to uh, that gate, that very, very suspicious you gate. Haven't finished your training. Are you moving on? Absolutely. I wonder if there's an achievement for either doing everyone's training or not doing anybody's training. Very curious. And I guess I'm on track for the latter, so let's try and keep that up. But yes, let's leave. Good, My tobacco was good work, spent. Quartermaster. Your presence is required in the riddle hold. To the stairs, if you please. All right. Likely a poor choice. Pinkus. I, Pinkus Paravus Pernilian Perselfans, vom und zu Presswand, quartermaster par excellence and arbiter of good taste. It seems my brilliance has left the magic here speechless. My work is done. I shall retire to my quarters. Navigator, I've received news of Ignatius' activities. Come to me. All right, so a couple things. One, I noticed that the, uh, the bowls above the gate looked a little different. The guy in the middle felt like he was holding something. And I wonder if that's the uh, the artifact we acquired from Bark and Bramble. If I read that scene correctly, then I'm a little less suspicious of the uh, of the of the gate now. A little less suspicious. I'm still very suspicious of this whole thing. Everyone keeps talking about how this ship doesn't need a navigator, and yet here I am. Anyway, we'll 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 cross that bridge when we get to it, or perhaps we'll burn it when we get to it instead. I do also want to point out that uh, it turns out yes, we do have to revive the crew three times. Uh, I should have should have gone with my gut with this one. I'd assumed it was just three separate objectives and we'll move on to something else, but no, we are going to be reviving three crew members before we see other uh, major objectives over here. Though at the same time, we are getting sort of story progression. So I, I suppose they can happen in parallel too. On which note, Never. let's go ahead and uh, speak to the ship and see exactly what's next with solving the riddle. I imagine uh, maybe a couple more missions have opened up for us on the uh, world map, but uh, hey, only one way to find out. I like it already. An urgent message has come from Dreadvine's Cove. Ignatia recently arrived on the island and is conducting some sort of ritual. If she's devising some new method to haunt us, we must know about it. Agreed. I'll chart our course. One more thing, Navigator. I would like you to remain with me for this mission. That's kind of you. But I prefer getting my hands dirty. Oh, you won't be bored. I'd like you to coordinate the crew from afar. Call it an experiment. I see. All right, then. Let's give it a go. Interesting. All right. That's one way to kind of, like, uh, encourage the player to use their other crewmates and, and not get too used to their uh, current team or start resting on their laurels. But yes, we have to complete the mission Fruits of Her Labor. Let's make our way over to the table. And it seems as though uh, the way mission progression works is perhaps it gets open-ended and you can choose where to go for uh, your soul energy and for your black pearls and all that kind of stuff. And then you reach kind of milestone moments where uh, it gets a bit more directed. And that makes sense because there is obviously a story that's moving forward. There is a scripted thing happening in the background alongside the open-ended stuff that you're doing as a player. And that's a good way to kind of like balance the two of them. So let's go ahead and check out the map and dive into uh, Fruits of Her Labor, yeah. Always. Where to, Navigator? Well, to Red Vines Cove, of course. Now, let me just check. Just to be sure, uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at uh, Ucrockbury again. Oh, you know what? Maybe we would be able to do another mission if we wanted to. 
But let's 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 stay on task over here. It was an urgent message, so let's get to it. Fruits of her labor. Vile experiments are being conducted on Redvine's Cove. Uncover Ignatia's intent. Bigger boost of three. They've all been three so far, I think. This one's going to happen at night, though, so the map's going to look quite different. And the duration is medium, so about 30 or so minutes again. And crew size of three still. But, of course, this time, uh, Ephia is going to be staying on the uh, ship, right? So, with that said, let's take a look at uh, the map, the situation. And, well, we already know the crew we're going to be going in with, but let's get this party started, shall we? Dreadvine's Cove lies in sight. Do you sense Ignatia? It's curious. I can feel her presence, but I can't quite focus on her. Oh, is that the Red Marley approaching? We heard your call, Dreadvine. We come to aid you against Ignatia. You are late. The insufferable woman left hours ago. What did she do? She came seeking answers I had no intention of providing. Then, the cutting began. She ripped out pieces of me, probed and twisted them in that private study of hers. In the end, she grafted them back onto me, but they are... disturbing! Hmm. Something about that grafting seems familiar. I want them gone, Shitsu. They are poison, foreign bodies that must be excised. There's two of them. You may take your pick. Do it, and I might forgive your impunctuality. Well, well. You think Ignatia came to pry a few secrets from the ancient plant? It warrants investigating. Choose our landing, navigator. Man. This, uh, this plant's got a lot of attitude for somebody who needs our help. I don't, I don't need you to forgive anything, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still gonna help you. Now, they said we can, like, choose. We don't have to do both, which is interesting. But I assume the mission's going to extend past, uh, picking one of these out. I'm curious about which one I want to go chasing after. So we have... Um, again, we've we've been here a couple of times, but once more we find ourselves going to a slightly different location. Um, this one seems closest, the, uh, the the bigger route. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the situation over here. And let's remember as well that this time around we do not have access to uh, Ephia, right? So our abilities are going to be a little different than the usual. We should also keep in mind that this time around it's nighttime. So vision cones and stuff are, you know, greatly affected anytime there's no, uh, there's no light. So... That could be used to our advantage. Previously, we had uh, landed over here. It was the uh, better choice at the time. And that might be the case this time as well, because this tangled wreck... Where do you lead to? Up over here. This guy's looking the wrong way. This guy's patrolling. But again, it's nighttime now. So where he once was able to actually see down over here, this time he might only have the uh, hashed uh, lines, or he might not be able to see at all, actually. Um... No, there we go, yeah, the hash lines, which means that uh, if we're being sneaky, if we're on uh, on our hands and knees, then he won't be able to see us. So this, this you know, makes it a little bit easier. Up over here, lots of lanterns. They can easily be taken out because they are isolated. And we'd have to go, what, up this way, eh? Up to this big root. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. This can be put out. Yeah, easy enough. This guy's looking that way. This guy's a bit of a patrol that takes him away. But this acolyte is able to see Does down over here. Ah, they get into a conversation. Easy. Easy. All right, beautiful. Not a problem at all. I think we might go this way. Not only because uh, it provides us a new sort of experience on the same map, but also because I think it's probably the easier one to get to. Though, just watch. The, the, the next objective that comes up is going to take us all the way over to here or something, and we'll regret not going after that one. I kid, of course. I kid. No regrets. Only good times. Let's go ahead and select this landing spot. And... Uh, pick out our crew, so to speak. Now, again, very specific choices available this time around, but as we unlock right. more and more of them, eventually we will have to pick and choose based on our comfort levels, on our strategies, and all that good stuff. But, uh, let's see, we got Toya as one. You know what, actually? Yeah. Let's get Pincus as one, Toya as two, and John as three, only because I'm starting to get, like, habits building with two and three, so, uh, if one is gonna be the variable, at least for the time being, let's, uh, Let's let's try and maintain some habits so I don't make a 
foolish mistake in the middle of uh, of an intense moment. But yeah, let's go for it. So this is how things look from your perspective. Look at the three of them. They're so small. They can hear you, Navigator. Right. Well then, crew. Let's see what the Inquisitor has wrought here, shall we? Sounds good. My Let's galley is the battlefield. Get down. Our objective Gonna is move clear. on. Oh, must we use the ladder? Oh, Pincus. Pincus, Pincus, Pincus. Pincus. This is going to be, hmm, that's not ideal. Now, I mean, this guy looks back and forth, so we can sneak up there as well. It's not the end of the world this time, but it might be in the future. It might, this might be a problem in the future. Sneak up. Oh, he actually puts his thing down completely. Not that it seems to make a difference to his vision. Fair enough. You're looking up over here, but again, you can't see us back here. So you're the only one I'm worried about, Pincus. How quickly can you climb that ladder? That's the question. Look this way. Let's that go. Won't be a challenge. Yep. Perfectly timed. God, it feels so good when you pull that off. This guy's looking away. So, all right. Let's go ahead and... You know what? Let's let him come back because I knew it. It was just about to happen. Let him come back. And the moment he turns around, we'll pull the trigger on a couple of these kills. Uh, Toya is your fastest. Hey. Move you up to here. And I don't know if Pincus carries the bodies low or high. Prepare for death. Hopefully it won't matter down over here. Pincus, get the kill up over here. And... Execute. I like the taste of it. <coughs> nice and easy. Get that body. So Pincus Ow. carries them low. Good stuff. In which case, let's use Pincus over here because then the guard won't be able to spot us even if he turns around and looks in this literal direction. This is not the kind of labor suited for a von Pressbart. I guess he'll complain about it as he does it, but he can do it. So that's fine. Up over here, we're in the clear. So we should be able to push up, get the job done there. We have these, uh... Hmm... I think this is just a spot to hide if there's a patrol over here or something, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's get up to this bush, please, real quick. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Nice and easy. He's going to turn around, and uh, then he's going to die. Let me remind you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Into the bush you go. And let's make our way up. Didn't need the reminder for the quick save, because I was just waiting for that to happen before we, yep, trigger the quick save. Don't want to get, again, worth capturing. overconfident. A Things have gone smoothly so far, but it's literally just the first, like, two minutes of the, uh, the, 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 the mission. I wonder if I should take care of this guy nice and early, just because I can. He's right here. They've got a long patrol. If I get rid of him, that's one less light in the area. You know what? I think we should go for My it. I did just quick save as well. Ready. Ooh, snake. I am the blade. Oh, watch. He's being watched from some other direction. Oh, nope, we're good. Raise with your legs. Put that body in here. And again, it's just a bit more darkness to afford us a bit more uh, freedom and flexibility as the mission progresses, right? Just because it feels so close to everything else. Keep moving, keep moving. This guy's singing, man, John. <laughs> Push up to here, so don't... Dreadvine, why did the Inquisitor come here? How should I know? Even my vast intellect cannot fathom that fire-crazed mind. First, she asked questions about secrets even more ancient than myself. Then, she began cutting, clipping, and grafting. Ouch! And what do they do, these graftings? They are like fragments of someone else. Foreign thoughts implanted into my flesh. I want them gone. You hear? Rip them out. Does it not unnerve you? Standing well, in its shadow. Now it sounds like we do have to do both. So I'm a little confused. Because it, it sounded like, uh, again, it sounded like we could pick previously, but maybe I misunderstood there. All right, so this guy up over here does have a bit of a troll. He's not locked into that animation. But fortunately, when he goes up there, these guys get locked in a conversation. I have a split second to operate, so very quickly we have to go in, kill the Commissarius, and put this thing out, and we should be good. Oh, you know what? They're not so synchronized. So I think he goes twice, and this guy goes once, maybe? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, Pincus. What is the range on your mind control? Quite large, if I recall correctly. Or test out new weapons against the curse. Or am I mistaken? I mean, this is our golden opportunity here. I want to see. Because that radius we're seeing when I have this guy highlighted is how far I can control him to. But if I recall correctly, I have to, like, get in there to actually hit them. So, alright. Leave that be for the time being. He's coming through. He's going to look that way. This guy's looking away as well. This guy's looking down this way, though. Yeah, so he can still see. These guys get locked I'm in conversation. Go ahead and quick save. And I'll now... Oh, the luxury of memories. Toya. Toya, get in there. And John, get in there. Execute. At most from what I hear. Our presence won't be required right. much longer. Worked out perfectly. Oh. They've noticed the slide is out. We're gonna creep up to here. Hopefully this guy won't see us kill whichever fool decides to investigate. Strange. Oh come on. Spotted me in the bush. That's fine, that's fine. We'll just change our attack. We'll just hide in this bush afterwards. I'll step on a shell of there you go. Let's make sure we're actually dragging this body in as well, because that could cause us some trouble. Get you in here, buddy. And Toya. We're the quickest of the bunch. Just want to see which way this guy looks. Oh, he's going to notice this as well. Don't worry about it, buddy. Down he goes. Excellent. Just before he could light it. Nice and easy. Alright, let's make our way down. Again with Toya. He's the fastest killer, so... Strange. Oh no. You just noticed the light. Oh crap. Victory is mine. Whoa. The heart is pierced. That made me very nervous there for a second. Pick that body up. And into the water you go. Okay, they keep noticing. Now are you gonna come down as well? No. He's he's committed to his patrol. Oh no, he is coming down. Oh god. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Pick that body up. Let's go. God damn it. Yo, I can't believe it. I can't believe we pulled that off. We managed to kill him before he actually got the alarm off. Or so I think. Because I thought I saw the timer come up. But it looks like we pulled it off. I didn't realize... I keep forgetting Toya decides to stand randomly at times. It's not random. There's a pattern. I just keep forgetting about it. I think it's every time we drop a body off with him, he stands up because he has to stand up to carry bodies around. I wish he would go back to his deep, like, to the state he was in before, you know, picking up the body. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. That worked out. Threw me off for a second. I was like, why are you able to see him? Um, but that's why. All right. Stay low, buddy. Stay low. Clean this up pretty nicely. Drew everybody out to this uh, thing one by one and, and just dropped them off over here. Excellent. Just a matter of timing their uh, their patrol, but we were able to get up over here and uh, get the job done. Alright. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this actually tells us to, to do both, or or if we did, in fact, just have to do one. That's done with. Oh, yes. Out with them. Cursed alien fragments. Something came out of the wound. Looks like memory fragments. Navigator. Those fragments feel wrong. In what way? Twisted. Manipulated. Oh, the indignity. How dare she come and use me for her vile experiment? Enough! Take these things away. I will retreat to rest my soul. We won't get any more out of him. Investigate those memory fragments. Well then. Things are quite complicated. Where are these fragments located? So all around this general area. We don't have to go further than that, it looks like. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. So, a little bit of cleanup to do. Good thing we uh, got rid of the guy over here, I suppose. I think that's where he was, at least. Or was he... No, no, the guy over here. It does open up our, our angle of approach over here. We got a pair of people over here that need taken care of. And I think we should be able to sneak past over here pretty easily. Alright, let's go ahead and do this.
Let's get Toya. I follow Coming him. down this way. Solo. You can Stay low. Alright, let's not get too confident. Pull over this way. Make our way over here. Huh? And... We should be able to get to that fragment. Let's actually finish these guys off in case they come back as we're engaging with that fragment. So in order to do that, we'll need to go ahead and get these guys down here as well. Down you go. Can't do the killing over here, unfortunately, because this guy's right here. Likely a poor choice. Very likely a poor choice. How far do you look? Just up to there? Alright. Hold on to here, then. Nothing I can't and this shouldn't be a problem. Because they'll come past us, and then we'll kill them, like, somewhere over here. Get them into the bush there. And... Time to plan. Get you in there. Toya, get you in there. Should be easy enough. Go for it. Forgot that Toya's over here. Habits, man. Habits. Pincus. It's gotta be you, buddy. Gotta be you. I don't think a coin will distract him right now. But it's worth a shot. Go for it. Though he's gonna then watch a murder go down. Hilarious. Alright. Toss the coin up over here. Let's see if that works. Nope. We're good. We're good. We're good. Man. <laughs> I'm so used to using Toya. I gotta, I gotta, again, it's habits, right? It's habits. But we can stop over here. Yeah, more than clear. Get you in there. And let's get you in there. Cool. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. John, pick that body up afterwards. Drop him in the bush. Pinkus, get in there. How Let's go. Chapter in my Figure out this fragment. I don't know if these guys come back and forth. Tuck into this bush for a moment at least. And that might be our escape route. So eventually we'll want to take care of these guys anyway. You're not able to see down here. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and investigate this fragment then. The way back. Good. Do you remember my name, creature? My roots forget nothing, Ignisha. Not that you are particularly worth remembering. Excellent. This should be quite interesting for the both of us, then. Are the instruments heated? They are, my lady Inquisitor. What are you doing? Stop it! Do you remember my name now, creature? I... I can't. <clears throat> How dare you sell it? What did you do to my memory? A simple experiment. A precursor of things to come. That's, uh, horrifying. Why not use my power? I wonder how far that uh, Good. capability like extends. Like, is it just for plants, sick. or can they use it on people so too? Many voices. All right, are you under anyone's gaze right now? Don't think so. These guys are patrolling, but I don't think they come all the way down here. So I think I'm willing to risk this. This guy over here does walk around, but he can't possibly see that far. So uh, I think we're probably good. That's two very easily gathered. If I'm correct here, of course. My Lady Inquisitor, should we fetch a prognostica? The strain on your soul. Their mind can't take the strain. This path is mine alone to tread. Surely the prognosticas can ease your burden. Maybe even I could. Look at my work, Commissarius. Look at the sweat on my brow, the heat of my furnace. Look at my branding hammer. Look at what I craft from glimpses of the grand design. I was given the tools to shape our destiny from the curse itself, and they weigh heavy indeed. I see. But you must know that protocol demands I call a Udex to inspect you. Good. Fetch her. Should I falter to corruption? I expect you all to bring down the fire on me. Uh, of course, my Lady Inquisitor. Of course. Well, 
It's oh. been a while. That won't be a challenge. At least she's a lady of principle, I guess, you know? She's consistent. Gotta respect that. Now, this guy does watch this, and this guy's up here as well. So I guess, I mean, initially I plan to kind of go up this way, because these seemed easy. But as I get moving up over here, these seem fairly simple to tackle as well. So we'll just keep going in this, uh, in this general direction. Let's get our group up the ladder over here, or maybe just Toya. I think we just need Toya, truth be told. Yeah, let's go. In a moment. You know what? Hmm. I was thinking since we have Pincus, I might as well use him. But this is not like an ideal spot for him. I would like to I would like to show his powers off because he is very fun to use. Just uh I don't wanna do it in a way that gets us caught or otherwise in trouble. So yeah, Toya. Go for a buddy. Get that body in here. Our objective is clear. And can I actually toss my special technique? The trap is set. You up to there. Get the job done. I love that animation so much. The VFX on it is so good. Um, so I like using it as much as possible. But it's a long animation. And uh, and you stay very high for it. So very easy to spot as well. Alright. Time for the next fragment. Let's go. Okay. How dare you, feeble soul. Do you have any idea of the damage you cause? Why not answer my question then? Is it here? Of course it is. Why ask what you have already gathered from the entrails of my mind? Confirmation, creature. In more ways than one. How can you stand here and not feel it? Hmm? Do you think these waters were named on a whim? You fear it, don't you? What lies hidden on these islands? What Mordecai found so long ago? I fear nothing, Fire Thrall. I am the Dread Vine. And I know a pretender when I see one. All right. It's strange seeing these memories through your eyes. I don't like this navigator. The more we touch, the more I feel their connection to my own power. And there is a sensation that Ignatius' presence still lingers. Her private study, at the heart of the complex. Yes, the feeling emanates from there. A chest with an iron key. We must open it, navigator. And where will our intrepid crew find this key? On a table full of books and scribblings. There. You can mark it on the map like so. I could get used to this. Oh no. Oh no. I should have seen another twist coming. So we don't need these fragments, but I wonder if I should chase after them anyway. Ah, let's uh, let's go for the key. And if we feel like uh, we can go after these fragments, then uh, we'll go after them afterwards. All right. Well, you know, what, actually, this one's pretty easy to get. So why don't we go ahead and get that one? It's like literally right there. It's literally right there. I don't think the guy that's uh, patrolling over here will be able to see us. We can wait for him to turn around and then go for it. That was close. But we're okay. Well, he might be able to see us. I don't know if we stand. It looks like we stay crouched when... Uh, when we're looking at these fragments. So we should be okay. Even with all three of them right here... This is in the crouching zone, so we should be alright. But, quick saving just to be safe. At your service. Away Aye. you go, and in I go. Take it away! It is only a memory, Prognostica. Your mind has endured worse. No, no! The corruption, the vile madness! The vastness of its heresy, every sensation blasphemy, every image an eclipse of the mind. Take it away! Take it away! His soul is burned out. He is lost to us. Regrettable. The cursed memory must be poisoned to a fire-blessed mind. A dead end, then. If even a prognostica can't survive it. 
We shall find the proper rights, shield our minds, focus our gaze. We may yet glean more insight from this cursed plant. The Ooh, plot thickens and thickens and thickens. All right, pull you back over here. Uh, and sure, might as well quick save because then we don't have to look at the fragment again if things go sideways. But I think it is time for Pincus now. I think it is time for Pincus. So this guy comes all the way up to here. He's able to see things. And this guy is watching over here. I have a few ways I could eliminate him probably, but I think this might be the best. Go ahead and take control. So, now we have control of his body. We can kind of go anywhere that this guy would theoretically be allowed to go. I can step right in here and it shouldn't cause any trouble. But, if I start doing anything suspicious, it will cause trouble. They'll notice, they'll get alarmed, etc, etc. I can also swap bodies. When I do so, if I recall correctly, this body gets uh, disposed of. Separately, I can engage people in conversation. And that, you know, so opens up uh, angles of approach for us, of course. But for the time being, I'm kind of tempted to just swap to this guy. Let's let's see what vision looks like here. Yeah, so you can see over here. If we get spotted while swapping bodies, um, that's obviously a problem. <laughs> People don't take kindly to that. So you're able to see up over here for quite some time, eh? All right. That's our gap when you're looking that way. And this guy, he actually has a blind spot over here. Okay, good stuff. And nobody else is looking down this way. All right, so as you come through over here, we're going to rush in, swap bodies, and see what that does for us. Drop that body off, please. Get in that bush. Good stuff. And this acolyte now has a lantern that I could actually put down. Good stuff. You look this way. If I turn off the lanterns, people will notice and probably get drawn to it. That is just an acolyte after all. You're looking this way. Hmm. Can I get this kill? These guys get what engaged in conversation. Here, These guys get engaged in conversation. But when they wrong? do, they are looking in this direction. They'll be you able to see us. Ignatia. Or we are lost. Right. What about you? So you've got a blind spot here. Good stuff. And you come up this way. You get in conversation. I missed it, actually, because I was looking at her movements. But I missed if they actually have a moment where they can see up over here on their way over. It's such a... It's gone in a flash, like in an instant. Now, if we get rid of the light, we should be okay. And the other thing I want to check is if these guys have a conversation every round or just uh every other okay the vine is aggravated mm. how much longer will the fire keep us safe i feel it too the sooner we are off this island okay. the better okay 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 i got this i got this so you're gonna come down this way as you do so this no acolyte decision. is going to turn off his lantern I'm going to come up over here there. People are going to notice. You're going to come over. And you're going to die. Suspect. Nope. If I'd come in from the other side, we might have been okay. No, sure not. Get rid of you. Huh? What? Turn my own lantern off. Uh, is nope. Something? That is such a slow kill. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. In we go. You're not going to come up here. You are going to come up here. Suspect. We will remind Damn it. Alright, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, we've got another option here. Actually, let me check. Turn off our lantern. Let's see what this, uh, this door would take us inside. 
where we have the chest, I assume, a commissarius, and another acolyte. All right, very well, very well. Ooh, and what is this? Oh, it's one of those lanterns that we can't put out. All right. That thing you get in this conversation, you come around this way, you keep looking back and forth. Trophy. You know her history with its sister. She All right, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take a look yet. at something here. If you come through, so many shipments. Right, which ways do you look? Tools, you come up, this is our spot to turn this off control. maybe. Then you look up this way. And she turns that way, unfortunately. This might be our window then. When she's coming up this way, that might be our window. Because that's quite a bit of time. I if I can get this taken so care of, I can pull the body out of the bush. Alright, cool. Easy. Easy. I can't make sense of what I'm reading. Go ahead and turn you off. Well, It'll get noticed. Suspect. Okay. Right, right. I was a little premature on that. There. Come on, keep going. Move, move, move. No? Alright, here we go. Up you go, and away we go. Alright, cool. Easy. You're gonna notice the light, but you're not gonna check it out. That's fine. Now these are kin- Oh, actually, hang on. They're both coming out here. John. Let's get you in there. And let's see if we can't get both of them at the same time. I don't think I can take over their bodies, but I can melee as this acolyte. So we might be able to pull this off. Oh god, here we go. Come on, John. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What? Alright. Alright, here we go. Acolyte, in with the melee. John. I'm feeling blue. In with the melee. I, I guess. I could wait for both of them to turn around, but I don't know if you're going to look this way. You'll be able to see us. The, the, he'd be able to see us right now, but what happens in a moment, you know? Alright, let's try this. What's the worst that could happen? Would like that. That. That's fine. I expected I expected a bit of uh, roughness there, but but we have a we have an opportunity here. We have an opportunity here. So let's hurry this along. You're gonna look. You're gonna look. You're gonna look. You're gonna turn around. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh. You're gonna come through. I'm gonna take your body. I'm gonna pick the body up. That's safe. What? I'm gonna drop the body off. Now they're both coming up here. A little bit more prepared for that this time around. And I pop in here. Hmm. I'll be close enough, but I don't know if I can bait them a bit further out, perhaps. Alright. Let's try this. There. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're down. John. You're gonna pop in over there, eh? Alright. Get you moving up here. John. Go for it. Nope. Oh, I, I had a feeling. Alright, we're okay. Because uh, I just gotta, I just gotta prepare this before uh, some of the other stuff. Because again, there's an empty spot over here, so John can come up here and he can get underwater or underground ahead of time. Should have turned the lantern off. <laughs> uh, Toya, I can get you up there. This conversation's happening now, so we're a little that too late to pull the trigger here. Toya's up there. He's Why safe. Such a grisly Toya. You know her and let's quick save now, because I think we're in a comfy spot where, worst case scenario, I can pull I out of this if need so. be. But, yet. Acolyte. So let's get ready here. Shipments. Hopefully they'll come through. And I almost wonder... Okay, I've got a plan. 
The plan continues to evolve. I think this will work nicely. Move up to here. Wait for her to look away. Yep. There you go. No, keep going. You don't need to be here. There we go. Pick that body up. Quickly, 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 quickly. Go, 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 go. You have to walk, walk much faster than that. Alright, here we go. Up to here. Engage that guy in conversation. John, any second now. Any second now, we should be able to pop up. And Toya will need to rush down as well. Alright, you know what? Don't engage him in conversation. Save that for later. Get back to it. Alright, so he's looking up that way. He's going to get locked in conversation there. He can't see down here. Toya should be able to rush down. And uh, John should be able to jump up. That's a lot of shoulds. That's a lot of shoulds, but I, I think we got this. It's just a matter of timing now. So let's get you rushing in there. And let's queue this up. And pop uh, pop the trigger at the right time. Go for it. What? Food for the turtles. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he's not able to see. Make sure we're picking the bodies up. Again, we have to kill them at the same time, right? Because they're kindred. Get you over there. I'm always prepared. And the other one's right. <laughs> Been sent to the below. Good stuff. All right, so now it's just these two left, eh? Just these two. And they very much have blind spots. So, Toya, get you up to here. Decision. And you only look that way. This guy does look down. So, Toya, let's get you One rushing up right now. And let's kill this guy while he's looking that way. I see no reason why that shouldn't work. They're both isolated. Oh, you know what? I just realized this guy. That's why this won't work. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cancel that. Cancel that. Delay those orders. But first, we got to take care of this guy. First, we got to take care of this guy. Easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. Do I knock you out? Do I take your body? This guy's only looking down this way. This guy. Ooh. Okay. Bit of a blind spot there. So that works out. And when you look up, can you see up over there? Don't know. Well, one way to find out. Resume time. Is there... Yes, there is. Right at that corner there is where we can hide the body. But when we're moving the body, we stand up. And this guy, he's got a blind spot up there as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. All right, cool. I think I might have missed my cue there. So let that conversation happen. Get behind this guy. I'm wondering if I want to switch to his body or if I want to just knock him out. Maybe switch to his body. I think it's a bit faster. Ah, uh, it's about the same time. Alright. Let's switch to his body, though. It's fun. <laughs> Turn around. Go for it. He's gonna look this way, though, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yep. This is still trouble. That body up. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, boy, that was close. That was close. All right. Unfortunately. Oh, no, we're good. This guy is not able to see up over there. This guy's only looking this way. So we should be in the clear to get both of these guys taken care of. In fact, I can do it right over here, can't I? Yes, I can. Let this guy come through. Wait for them to have that conversation again. No one seems to be noticing the pipe that I'm smoking. And uh, we'll kill him at the same time. I knew we'd have an opportunity to let uh, Pinkus shine. Very, very powerful abilities here. Very powerful abilities here. But yes. Get the job done over here. I'll keep it stored. In you go. Some spice. In you go. Good stuff. Pile of bodies up over there, or maybe we uh, tuck them in that bush there. Sure. Go. Death, a heavy customer. Drop you in there as well. The acolyte can pick this body up. I think we should be in the clear. Yeah, we're in the clear. Let's go. And in you go. Oh man. Looks like we're almost out of time in this body. 
Or no, that's interesting. What was the suspicion meter there for? Either way, um, I, I was just going to say, like, I just absolutely love the versatility here. Again, another another situation where I'm sure there are a hundred different ways to approach this uh, this mission, you know? How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Must I go from outside? Oh no, there's a door here. Okay, cool. So I can pop out. Good stuff. Get you on the ready. And you... You can see quite far, actually. Can I... You know what? I can draw him down here. Let's go for that. Because he's not going to look up. This guy's going to be looking that way. He's going to get drawn out. He's going to investigate the torch. We'll take his body over here. Well. And then we'll finish this guy off. Yeah, come on through, buddy. In fact, we don't have to kill him, but we want to. We want to. Toya, bring you over as well. Why not? The fight begins. Get the job done here. Anyone Toya, get you down there. Is it's so fun. All right, let's get you in there. Pick that body up. And get you in there. Yeah, see this bar slowly fills up as we carry bodies. I'm, I'm curious. There's obviously there's a reason, obviously, but uh, hopefully we never have to find out. Stand ready. Check these uh, keys out. Again, if we get spotted while doing this, we're in trouble. Oh, that must be what it's what it's indicating. Of course, I've done it fabulously. The key is secured. Now for the chest. Hurry. Whatever is in there must be central to Ignatius' plans. What I mean by what I said there is that uh, I imagine that alert when we're carrying a body gets filled up if we're being looked at while carrying a body, as opposed to the usual type of alarm. Anyway, we good in here? Yeah, I suppose so. You know what? Like, here, let's have some fun. Let's get John over. He wants to have some fun too, right? Pop you into the below. And, uh, Pincus? Let's get you in and uh, do a little bit of tandem killing. Got a nice camera angle for this one. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Acolyte in there. John in there. Let's go. Bye. Man. There we go. Excellent. All right, Pincus, get the job done. A big red orb? What is this tacky thing, Marley? A memory, and not one of mine. It has been shaped, forged. It looks different from yours. I will not unleash this thing, but perhaps we can take a peek. Ah, so you found my little message. Do you like the fruits of my labor? Of all the things I have taken from you, this is by far the most fascinating. To give shape to memories. To reshape reality. Do you even realize the potential? It does not matter, of course. In the end, I will take the treasure. Just as I took your captain. Enough. This was a waste of time. Let us leave. Did you know I cut off Mordecai's head? before I burned his soul. I always keep it close by. In fact, I have it right here. Perhaps you'd like it back. A little token to remind you of happier times. Come and get it then. I'll be waiting at Grand Alcazar. <laughs> Damn her. Cast her into the darkest below. Whoa! It shattered! How dare she! Calm down, Marley. His head! She made a trophy from the captain's head. On, We're one step ahead, general. Marley. We're solving Mordecai's riddle. Let her have that old skull. It won't help her once the treasure is ours. Aye, you are right. She will not stop us. We will find the treasure. I'd say we've learned all we can here. Find yourself a tear, crew. 
All right. That, uh... That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. Time to get, uh, get to the escape, though. So if I kill this Commissarius, we'll have a lot more freedom here. I believe this allows us to leave the mine and uh, drop the body that we're in right now. You can see, again, the range of our, of our, of our possession means we can't actually get up over here with it. So let's uh, take care of Buddy after quick saving so we don't have to go through that conversation again. And then we'll uh, make our way over, yeah. Down you go. Nice and quiet. The body in there just in case. And let's go ahead and leave the body uh, here as well. Nice and quick. All right. Now what to do here? Whispers, whispers, whispers from the bark. You've been here before. Familiar grounds, right? This guy comes around. The thing is, though, this time around it's nighttime, so it's familiar grounds, but it's still a little different. Why did you? Bring still a little different. Toya, let's get this kill done with you. Way back. Through the shadows. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Toss a coin. Sufficient. Oh, he did look around. He'd already gotten distracted, but I don't think that was a bad let's idea. Try a new You're gonna be here. I don't know if you can see us. Just in case, let's put this body away. Down you go. Excellent. He goes around. I should be able to come up here, no problem. Again, just gotta time this so we get them catatonic, right? But first we gotta kill our friend over here. And there's surely a good time to try that. Uh, you know what, actually? Might do this a little differently. No, I'll have to stand while I try to possess his body anyway, so we can't uh, can't do it that way. All right, Toya, you're up over there. You know what? I don't like that. Let's get Toya out of there. We'll get you down this way. Over we go. Again, Toya's got the fastest kills, right? So I want to try and use that. We're gonna look this way. It will be done. We can sneak by now because it's nighttime. So that's good. No teleportation available to us, but that's fine. Because what we can do instead is have Pinkus queued up over here to kill this guy. And Toya to kill that guy. Ready. Let's go. All in one up there. Pinkus. Down here. Execute. <laughs> This will suffice. Clean. So clean. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, these travels are so Good stuff. That was a fun mission. That was a fun mission. Got privateer for Toya. Finish mission with this crewmate. Oh, gotcha. Just do multiple missions. And then finish the mission is the only badge we got for the uh, mission itself. I'm, yeah, curious what we missed out. But again, like I said last time, I believe it was, if we complete the story, all the badges are revealed to us. And then you can evidently go back and try and chase after them, which sounds good to me. I might I might actually do that because I do like, uh, I, I like the way they designed the star challenges in Desperados 3. So I imagine some of the badges are equally interesting. We just, you know, we'll find out later. I wish we knew them ahead of time to a degree. I'm fine with this approach too, but part of me deep within wishes I knew what they were so I could like challenge myself to do them the first go around as opposed to trying to figure out what the designers were thinking. Either way, moving on. This, this, yeah, this was a fun one. Where, uh, where are we? There we are. And you got to see so much of Pincus in action. You know, Pincus was invaluable here. We made the right call. And I, I promise you, I did not know what this mission was going to be like. I've never played this mission before. Uh, completely new grounds. We just happened to pink pick Pincus, sorry, because I find him interesting, I find his abilities interesting, and they were so useful here. I mean, again, I'm sure there are a hundred different ways to solve this situation, but oh my god, look at that, just Pincus in that body, Pincus in that body, Pincus figuring out how to get into this body, prepping these guys at the same time, got the double kill there, then Pincus, you know, preparing to distract people, but standing in places that he just couldn't stand typically. God, it's so good. Yeah, good stuff, good cleanup. In we go, find out the dark truth, and then down over here, this was this was super clean. This was super clean. 29 minutes. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Toya actually got the most kills. Interesting. Wow, really? Even, even with all that time spent as Pincus, 22 minutes. John got minimal use, but the use he did get was extremely powerful as well. 
Ah, and see that alarm did count. Damn it, I should have gone with my gut and I should have reloaded. We could have kept that at a zero. We could have easily kept that at a zero, but I thought, ah, we're probably fine. So I guess what happened is the alarm went off uh, and I got the kill at the exact same time, clearing that area out. And then that sort of said, okay, no more alarm because everyone's been taken care of. I wish I should have just gone with my gut and reloaded because it was an easy solution. We didn't need to get caught there. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. I'm glad I'm at least able to, to identify exactly when that happened and how easy it would have been to actually keep this as a zero. A little bummed at myself for not going for that, but hey, it is what it is. And what it is, is another successful mission. Back to the Marley. All right. That was a good mission. That was a fun mission. We gotta have a conversation with the Marley, and we gotta resume, I think, the... Uh, the moves to revive the crew. Very curious about what the Marley has to say after our revelations in that uh, previous mission. That that is that is that is something. That is a wild thickening of the plot. And you know what else that is? An excellent cliffhanger, folks. This is where we're calling it a session. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel, letting me know what I should do more or less of, and how I should go about doing it. So yes, if you would like to see Shadow Gambit continue on the channel, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and let me know. Next time, we'll have this conversation with the Marley, see if we can't figure out what the hell is actually going on, and then we'll uh, pursue the continued revival of our crew. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.